Hi, this is Captain Chaudhary once again. In my last video, uh, we talked about uh, resolving this uh, rendezvous problem using uh, the trigonometry. So uh, we uh, found what is the course to steer, what was the course to steer and what was the interval. Now the same thing we will try to find out using uh, a radar plotting sheet. On a radar plotting sheet, how can uh, we do rendezvous calculations? Let us say if there is a similar problem, say for example, uh, a target which is disabled is going uh, on a course of uh, 0, 048 degrees into 6 knots and own speed can be 18 knots. A bearing of the target is 320 degrees and distance 215 miles. So uh, this is, it is like if you want to understand in the rough, say this is the target and it is bearing 320 degrees, going on a course of uh, 048, which would be something like this. And this is the meridian for me and probably I would catch up this course so that we meet at this rendezvous point. Considering this problem philosophically, the target is going on a certain course and speed. I have to go, uh, I have to follow a certain course and I have a speed of 18 knots. Now we are going to meet at a point that's called rendezvous point or that is a point the two ships on their steady course and speeds are going to meet. In the language of ROR, this would be called collision. So we are going to deal with this problem using radar plotting sheet following the principle of collision. So if the bearing of a target is steady, the bearing does not change. That means the target is going to collide. This is what is the principle we uh, follow in collision regulations and uh, that is the principle of systematic plotting of the bearing of a target. So uh, what we will do is we will Try to plot a half an hour uh, movement of the target before the collision. That means we are going to make uh, an OAW triangle for half an hour. Right? And we start plotting by saying that of the triangle OAW, A is at the center of PPI. So let us assume that this is the radius. Uh, I'll try to uh, maintain a scale as uh, much as possible. Let us say this is a PPI and range scale is 12 miles, right? The radius is 12 miles. Now, what I said is I'm going to consider the center as A of the OAW triangle and I'm going to assume that there's going to be collision and because there is going to be collision, the relative bearing or the bearing of the target is not going to change. That means the bearing of the target, which was 320, this is 360. The bearing of the target, which was 320 degrees, is going to remain constant. That means the target is going to approach on this line. That means uh, the approach line of the target, that is the relative approach of the target, which is called OA. We don't know where the O is going to be. O is going to be somewhere on this line. We are trying to make a triangle of half an hour. The sites which are associated with A are OA and WA, that is Y. Y is the target course and speed. W to A represents the target course and speed, not A to W. So we will call it Y. W to A, the target course and speed. The target is moving at uh, uh, 6 knot and we have decided to make the triangle for half an hour. So uh, let me find out where is uh, uh, 48. 48 is going to be something like this, 48 degrees. Now how should I put uh, o, where should I put O so that from O to A is 048, that is the target course. So I think I should uh, put the W somewhere here and the distance that is traveled is 3 miles in half an hour. The target moves 3 miles in half an hour, so I will mark this point as W. 
this is the target course and speed from W to A. The only thing which I know about OAW triangle now is WO's magnitude. WO's magnitude that means how much is my own distance traveled in half an hour. I'm making a half an hour triangle. So in half an hour, because my speed is 18 knots, I would be doing nine miles over the water. Nine miles means W to O. Like if I put an arc, the W to O is my course. So I should be steering this course. So I should be moving on this course, which I have shown by this course in this diagram so that I am able to meet the moving target that is uh, moving at 0, 4, 8 into 6 knots. So uh, this becomes my OAW triangle. Uh, course to steer, I will have to draw a parallel line. I will have to draw a parallel line. I don't know, uh, you may do it in your plotting sheets more accurately, but it uh, looks like uh, 348 or something. I don't know. 348 or something goes to steer which I find on this plot but you can uh, plot it more accurately now the thing is in this triangle the relative direction of the target was uh, in the direction of AO so this should also represent the relative speed this is the relative speed or this is the relative distance traveled in half an hour let me see how much distance is traveled I find this distance to be I am getting something like 7.7 .7 miles so this distance is 7.7 .7 miles but the original distance is 215 miles so I make a simple equation to so I make a simple equation 7.7 .7 miles in 0 0.5 hours so therefore 215 miles which is the original distance right which is the original distance should be covered in how much time so 0 0.5 into 215 divided by 7.7 .7. so that gives me 0 0.5 into 215 equal to divided by 7.7 .7. gives me 13.96 hours 13.96 hours so this is how using the radar plotting we can find out the course to steer as well as we can find out the interval in which we will meet the target in my previous video I had said that if same current applies or same current prevails at the target position as well as own position that means the average drift for both is same then this uh, interval that is 13.96 hours and this course to steer will hold good so even if the same amount of current is uh, uh, drifting or affecting both the vessels the time taken and course to steer will still be same and to find out the final position meeting point whether there is current or not whatever is applicable say in respect of my ship or the target ship will be applied by plane sailing and will get the final position that is the estimated position so uh, the golden rule for finding out final position is apply the day's work to own position and get the final position